the place for comic book and anime reviews. There you go, the Rabbit Campbell 12 YouTube channel. for all your comic book and anime reviews. And yet he has my review for My Hero Academia, Season 3, Episode Number 8. So this was all My Hero Academia. We pretty much pick up from the last episode with like, was everything still going pretty bad for him the from the kids at UA and the whole entire high school of UA because they're being like pretty much slammed by the media and like they're not everything not looking good for them pretty much right now like it is like 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 things cannot be worse for them and it's gonna probably get worse because they have got these little kids these teenage kids and who these students at UA who are now going in pretty much on their own uh, to this school and who are at this school and they're going in to go like that night after they just got beat down by all those villains to go and try and find them again and take them out at, at their own hideout which to me like, just that just sounds really really dumb like y'all couldn't like, like I hope y'all just watch this whole thing or like and then you Deku's body still broken up and they're trying to tell Deku like you know we need you to hear but we just want to bite you let you know that we're going to try to do this tonight. Like why even tell Deku? Let Deku heal. Let Deku's body heal. Like come, like, like, come on Kev Kalinari. Um, just let his body heal for like five minutes. Like, like, like his body is broken beyond repair. Like. Like, come on, like, 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 don't go like that now, like, wait at least, like, here with, like, two or three days, maybe four days, to, like, let, at least let Deku, like, kind of get his bearings back together again, like, do we, did we have to do it that night, like, that was just, that was insane to me, like, that was really, really dumb uh, to me, and they would even think that would be a good idea, so, I think it's probably gonna go bad for them just for that idea alone. And they're all like, we're not gonna find it. What are y'all gonna do? What are y'all gonna do? I'm just gonna be sitting out at the building house just like watching you for like five minutes. Like, like why y'all have to go at that point? Why can't y'all just say one of them? No, all y'all are going? Like, come on. Like, like that, but that little tracking, that, that, that tracking thing that, um, uh, Creation Magic Girl, what's her name? Uh, Yazarozu. Like that question right there that she put on that that tracking that, that she put on there, then that's not going anywhere. You're gonna be fine like another week. Y'all have to go right right now tonight. Like come on, look, we can wait a few minutes, um, for it. But no, they said let's go now. Uh, so that's weird and that's kind of dumb to me. Um, and like there was a really little rarity fun moments though, even despite that. Like I did like to see it when like Deku did this out the end coming, which. Whatever he went to, he decided to come. Um, but I didn't look to see where he decided to come, and like we get that big arm between um, uh, Deku and Ida. That was really great, that was really cool. Uh, because Ida was basically kind of like pestering Deku about like how like they're being impulsive and everything, and how he did it once before, and how they're basically doing the thing that he's doing, um, even though he ends up deciding to go with them anyway. Um, near the end. Um, we also get like, this really funny scene where they're all like, kind of like getting like these outfits to kind of like hide themselves out. And like, if you did we get that funny scene with Dex looking at these little shades on, trying to look all cool and everything. It was really cool and a really neat scene by itself. I really enjoyed that. Um, a lot of fun moments inside this episode um, that I really, really did enjoy. Um, but Bakugo, man, Bakugo, like. That whole thing with Bago, like, like no time you're trying to think like Bago just this impulsive kid who's just gonna explode things and like he's not really thinking a whole lot. Like we really gonna see a lot more from Bago at this point. We can see like a lot more about his character and the nuances of his character right now. And I thought that was really cool. Because cause, cause he could have just joined the villains immediately, but he did it. He he said, No, that's not my way. I'm I'm a hero at the end of the day. And that was that was really great to see from Bakugo. Kind of show that he's a lot more than just a sort of raging, angry kid. That he really does care about UA. He really doesn't want to be a legitimate hero. Uh, he just doesn't do this. He doesn't go about the same way that most characters go about it. He goes about it in a very, very different um, means by it. Um, 
So yeah, that was a pretty interesting scene. That was a really, really neat scene. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed those aspects. Uh, and I cannot wait to see what the next episode brings was going forward here. So yeah, very much my thoughts on My Rock Academia, Season 3, Episode Number 8. And I'll come with you guys on the next episode of My Rock Academia. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.